with this you know, wave of strikes across Massachusetts, where was Hopkinton in all of this? Well, what I came to find out was that this uh, Hopkinton's industrial age was basically over by 1912. Not completely, not completely, but all the uh, shoe and boot mills were gone by that particular time. There were only a few uh, factories left in town uh, by 1912. So this, as I said, intrigued me and I started to get interested in, well, what was life like prior to uh, the, the decline of the boot factories in Hopkinton? All right, uh, so first off, can you tell us uh, what got you into this research? Well, I've always been interested in women and work and for my doctoral dissertation a very long time ago, I, my research was on the Lowell Female Labor Reform Association, which were women in Lowell in the 1840s who were working for a 10-hour workday. This was long before suffrage, long before women had any political power at all. And these women actually uh, petitioned and marched and spoke before the legislature trying to get a 10-hour workday enacted. What other towns have you uh, done this research in? Is it primarily in Hopkinton or is it all over? I know you said you did a lot of research in Lowell. Uh, is it throughout Massachusetts? Basically throughout Massachusetts. So Lowell, Lawrence, um, also Clinton, Barrie, uh, Milford, um, Hopedale. There were factories all over Massachusetts at one time or another. I've also done a lot of research in western Massachusetts on Irish immigrants in the paper mills and the textile mills out there. Now what towns would you say have the most history as, as far as the factories and the industry? Well, actually it's kind of interesting because at one time or another they all had mills. They all had factories. We generally think now of the big cities like Lawrence and Lowell and New Bedford and Fall River. Uh, Brockton was a major shoe center as well. Uh, just about every town in Massachusetts had industry at one time or another. Now, how long does it take you to research a specific town? Hmm, depends on what the topic is. I don't think your research is ever done. I, as I said, I published a, a book chapter on the Lawrence strike a few years ago, and I'm still finding out more about it, even after I finished my work. I'm uh, a professor at Stonehill College, and if they go on Stonehill College website, they can find my resume there, and it lists all my articles and publications and things like that.